Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Mrs. Many of TrueNet, and welcome back to Hitman How to Be a Badass, where we are looking at various ways to do some very, very cool stuff in the new Hitman game in its first episode in Paris. Now, at the end of last part, you may recall, I had just unlocked a new starting point. And the starting points are very, very interesting, because starting points aren't just about having the right disguise, it's also being in the right position during your target cycles. And in particular, I've got a particular plan in mind for Novikov himself by being the crew member up in the AV centre. So, let's dive straight into that, because I think this is, if this works, this is going to be brilliant. Start here. Run immediately to the right and down in this direction towards the main hall, where I'm guessing... Victor Novikov is literally about to make his entrance. That yeah, he's right there. <gasps> perfect. This is so perfect. This is ridiculously perfect. He's about to come down the stairs. There's a winch right here. Just, no, 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 just walk straight past me. Walk straight past me. Walk straight past me. Walk straight past me. And... Oh, my goodness. He's just mysteriously died. <laughs> That's so perfect. If you have this starting arrangement, you can just do that. Straight away. That's perfect. How many other people died in that? Uh, it was, oh, I just love it. He was just coming down for his big... And everyone's fine with it. Everyone's just fine. You know what? Let's not let this ruin a nice party. He was just coming down the stairs. And he just... Oh, I think someone... He, maybe his bodyguard was killed with him. Uh, but that is just a thing of beauty. That is so beautiful. So people are searching, but as no one saw me do it, there's no suspicion. That is just an accident that occurred straight away. That is so ridiculously perfect. That is just utterly, utterly glorious. And a letter opener in here as well. We may as well just get ourselves a couple of sharp throwables. And I have a plan for dealing with Dahlia as well, actually. So if I just cut my way through here, there was one other event that I did really want to just experience myself here. Now that accident has occurred, which is, aha! The lovely big bold bloke, Lord Voldemort. <laughs> Friendly with Dahlia Margolis, you see. This is why I want to deal with him. Yes, let's get on this. So I need to learn more about Helmet Kruger. Uh, who's going to say about that? Someone around here might say something. Or if they don't, I believe he's out having his photo taken in the garden right now. So there we are. No sign of anything around here. Okay, no speech to come out. I'm going to go to the garden and see if I can locate him there. Because that's where he gets his photo taken. Somewhere near the helicopter uh, before the show begins. So here he is. Yep, that's our man right there. Give me Greek God. Lovely. I'm not sure they wore kind of black waistcoat things. But alright, I'm not sure they saluted either. No need to hide. I won't bite you. Sorry, I've stopped hiding. I'm just going to stand here and watch. Oh, wait a minute. This is that woman I chastised for being dressed too casually over in the party. She's a photographer for Helmet. Ah, okay. So I believe I've actually interrupted the photo shoot there. And he's now wandering off. And she's... Aha, perfect. So I don't need to get his costume yet. It's just saying we need to learn a little bit more about him. Let's go and do that first in that case. Just keep our distance though. Sometimes they don't like people getting too close to them. Oh, look at the prettiness in the background. The little kind of... Uh, the French. They've done a good job with the French architecture. It does look quite right, which is quite nice. So he heads over this way. I believe there's some guards that patrol up and down this area. And it looks like he's actually pretty alone. Oh, no, no, there's one. There's a guard coming this way. So, find out more about Helmut Kruger. So he's going to... What's he doing? Is he a drug user or something? Are we about to learn about her weakness of his that would let us... Oh, no, that's a phone. Okay. Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Ah, Dahlia's offered him a fine. job. Okay, fine. Let's get the five wire ready. So, he's done with his phone call. What's he going to do now? But there's guards around. I've got to get his disguise, but there's guards everywhere. Uh, ooh. Are you about to... Where's the other guard? This could be a good time right here. Get him from behind. Nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick. Garrot him. You're not facing the right way. Get the disguise. Get him into the sen nice and quick. There you go. Off you, off you, off you. And nice. No one saw that. 
just in time. I must have been so close. So, next, I need to call Dark. I don't sound anything like him. I sound nothing like him, but all right. Dahlia, Helmut here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. Oh, Flip, I can't go and see her now. I'm expected to do my job as a male model first. Please tell me I'm actually allowed to go walk the catwalk, because that will be the greatest thing in the history of this entire franchise. Also, put your phone away, 47. Um, so... <laughs> I was in makeup. He was in makeup. And now I'm no, it's no one going to ask questions about the fact I'm just mysteriously no longer in makeup. So I believe I saw that there was a chair over here where I was allowed to sit if I was helmet. Yes, there we are. Sit down. And yeah, please, if you do my makeup for me. When you say touch up, I mean I've literally rubbed all the makeup you did earlier off. And also, I've suddenly gained a barcode. Oh, I'm beautiful now. I am fabulous. This is fashion. Your mirror is really blurry. There are better ones in the bathroom. So, next I need to walk in the catwalk. Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. To the catwalk. Out of my way. I'm flipping helmet whatever. Huzzah for me. Perfect timing, Kruger. Get out there and not be dead. Oh, are you not going out because it's my turn? Is it me turn? Yeah, it's my turn. I think I'm just, I'm going out next. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, oh, this is the greatest thing in the history of Hitman. I'm so glorious and fabulous. I'm beautiful, everyone. I'm not going to be an assassin anymore. From now on, I'm just going to be a male model. This is so much more fun. And apparently, I've got the perfect look for it. Nice. Oh, is it the, st is the entire stage covered in water? That's kind of cool if the entire stage is, in fact, covered with that water. I thought it was just, like, dripping out of the side into a pool. But no, it looks like the actual stage itself is wet. Which is very dangerous, given there's a number of women in high heels here. But all right. Lovely. So now I've done that, with a job complete, I'm able to go upstairs and meet with Margolis. The question is, am I actually allowed to go wherever the hell I feel like? Um, I'm assuming I would be. Hello? Mr. Kruger? Yep, fine. So I'm allowed to... Oh, this could, like, be the best disguise in the level. Because if this lets me go up to every level, and no one... In fact, can I see anyone who's suspicious of me? Can't see anyone. Listen, this is... Ah, this is this level's perfect disguise. Hello, Mr. Kruger. Love it. So now I'm assuming I'm allowed to go through. Yeah. Perfect dis Okay, so this disguise is worth getting in general, even if you're not planning to do the male model route, just because this is actually a perfect disguise. And you just said that's Miss Mog... I'm not in the same room as her, but all right. So, if you'll excuse me, am I allowed to speak to her? Ah, oh, private... Yeah, excuse me. Leave us alone, please. Private audience. Excuse me. Private audience. Get out. Get out. Right, let's sit down and see what we can learn. Beautiful. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show, so Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York, seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. Should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. And now we start to see how this business all operates. She controls the models. The models meet young people and get in relationships with them and use those relationships to access their families, networks, jobs, etc. and learn secrets that are valuable. And she has given me, ooh, actual poison that kills. Nice. And am I still alone in here? I think I'm still alone in here. And she decides to have a single private phone call. Beautiful. Let's quickly kill her then. And you get yourself throttled. And now very quickly, we can just put her into a cupboard. Nice and safe out the way here. Piano Man, the challenge apparently to use a fiber wire. Did I use fiber wire previously? Guess I must not have done. More than you bargained for. Oh, all the achievements. I'm suddenly getting all the bloody achievements. And now I should just be able to run straight out pretty much. Yeah, everyone's fine. Uh, first guy died in an accident. 
she died having been throttled, but her body's been hidden. Nobody's panicked. Everything's all very calm. Well, in fact, everything's almost suspiciously calm for the flipping amount of, uh, yeah, for the fact that somebody died in a horrific, terrible chandelier accident that was completely unexplained. But everyone's fine with that, apparently. Beautiful. There's an exit downstairs. Apparently. What's the exit that's downstairs? Now I'm just curious. I'm assuming that uh, Kruger is allowed downstairs, given he seems to be allowed everywhere. Yeah, actually, this is odd, by the way. There are mirrors in this game that work perfectly, but the actual mirrors in the change room, i.e. the only mirrors that are actually used for anything uh, within, like, the lore of the game, don't work. Which I find a little bit on the odd side. Yeah, there must be one downstairs. That's... Is it downstairs? I guess it must be. I'm going to go find what that one is, because the other ones I know about, the helicopter and all of that stuff, there's a... Uh, yeah, some one that's over here. What is it, though? No one minds the male model, just chilling out in uh, in here. Oh, wait, no. I should go and get, before I go this way... Ah! Secret back passage. Before I go that way, I should go and get the tape, because I was caught on camera earlier. Let's go get caught on camera, because I think we might be looking at a pretty good score here, if I can just do that quickly. There we are. Evidence deleted nice and quick. Let's just head out to that back passage and we should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Beautiful. Can't keep recordings off me. So no recordings of me. One person dead in an accident. One killed. No witnesses. Sh everything should be. This should be a good score. Let's just find out what it is. Yep. Exit the mission. Out this little back way. Presumably it's like the sewers or something. And down we go. That is the... I think those are the four exit points. Sorry, the five. There's three gates at the front. Helicopter at the back. And this way down into what I'm guessing is like the sewers or whatever. Which is arguably the most subtle way that you ought to leave anyway. So let's see how we did here. Continue. I'm already at seven. So in the catacombs. So a thousand. Tech support is a thousand. And then, ooh, a thousand for Piano Man for using the fiber wire. Two thousand five hundred for being the undercover model. And then five thousand for killing her after the private audience. That sick drop. Five thousand for dropping the chandelier on him. A thousand for being on the catwalk. We're up to level ten. Nice, and that unlocks a whole bunch of new stuff, so... Undercover in the locker room as a chef. The silver baller? Oh yes, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see that silver baller. Boom. And there, that's got me a logistics trailer where I can put a, uh, a drop. A chef's uniform in the change rooms. I'm not sure what the chef can really do that's that good, but okay. And uh, yeah, indeed, a silver baller. The silver ballers are in this game. Now, how have we done here? It's actually about the same score. So I've still not got over two stars in this thing. All right, fine. Let's replan this to see all the new stuff that we've now got. So the logistics trailer, which is a large agency pickup, which is over there. And obviously, I oh, look at this. This is perfect. A much more accurate and silenced and rare gun. Oh, the silver ball are beautiful. Though presumably I could just, surely I can just carry that in, right? Yes, I can just carry in my silver baller. My silenced silver baller. That is gorgeous. Still only two outfits. As far as I can tell, it looks like there aren't really many more outfits to unlock, to be honest. So back at the front gate, and just one more that I do really want to do, which is, um, you may recall the very first time I played this in the first video, I found the um, the little invitation to the Yargo meeting upstairs, the auction. I'd like to attend that. And I'm pretty sure I know how we do that, which is I know how to get an invitation. There's one from the two women who meet over here in this corridor. I just need to find a way. Here we go. So I just need to have, let them have their conversation, then one of them will go into the bathroom and I'll be able to get an invitation off them. So, Liza has the invitation because she's just basically spying on the meeting, trying to get some information out of it. Next, I just need to, yeah, follow her upstairs and then she'll go into this bathroom right here. Get down and don't kill her. Let's do this peaceful-like and subdue. There we are, just, just subdue her. We're not killing her, we're just subduing her. Everything's fine. Now get the Argo invitation. She never saw me. So I've got an invitation upstairs. Beautiful. Next, I think I need to... No, I can't get that out. It's not a thing I've got. But I need to figure out how to get my way upstairs. Because I couldn't figure that out last, last time. Presumably, I need to show it to the security guards at the... At the rear. But how do I get to the rear as this guy? Because in the normal suit... I don't see how I'm allowed to do that unless I go out into the garden here and show it to one of the guards over this way. I just need to find a... Yeah, I need to find one of the bodyguards. Ah, you guys, because you are guarding the way into 
the rear. If you could show me the invite, please. Right here. Thank you. Please proceed. Aha! Perfect. So now I'm allowed upstairs. Welcome. Turn right here, and there's a staircase. Keep the invitation ready to hand. Invite only, sir. Show the invitation again. Oh, I like it. You have to show the invitation every single checkpoint, which makes sense. Now, where's the next stairway up? Is it over here? Yes. Hi. And sir, I'm gonna have to search you. Oh, I have to be searched. Oh, okay. I will do that in a second, but I need to put all my guns down first. I didn't realise I was going to be searched. If well, it makes sense, I'd be searched. Okay. Right, I just need to find a quiet place to stash my guns. Uh, it's hidden here. Oh, my beautiful silver baller. Okay, fine. You wait for me here. I'll come back for you, I promise. Uh, and then I've not got nothing but the five wire, which has always been able to pass checks in the past. So that should be fine. And then open here and just walk on out. Absolutely fine. So now I'm able to accept a frisk from these lads. How you doing? Excuse me, I have to search you. Makes sense that obviously because I'm, you know, just a member It'll of the public. No time. They're going to frisk me properly and they sh hopefully won't find the fiber wire. Right. Thank you. So now I do still have the fiber wire. So that's fine. I can still throttle her if I can get her alone. Now I generally need to go and find what's effects done. Oh, and of course, because I'm going up the staircase here. If you need anything, please don't He'll point me right in the right direction. Past here. Through here. And into the orchard. Oh, do you need to check anything? No, you're all good. Excellent. Past multiple layers of security. We actually make our way to the right place. Nice. And then we've got the bar on the right there. And here on the left. Right, through we go. And am I allowed to actually take that a seat at the auction? So she just gave a nice little welcome speech. I'll pop the iPad down and can we speak to her? Hello. So can I be greeted by her? Is she willing to actually say hello to me if I catch her at the bar or something? Oh no, that's just subdue. I just want to say hello to you. Hello. Are we good? Hi. No? All right then. So this actually puts me in a bit of a difficult position to take care of her. Because, uh, yeah, we've got the small problem that now I don't have a gun and I'm not allowed into any of those extra areas around the side or anything. Though, now that I'm up here, that's just a... I need to find something I can use as a weapon. Ideally, a throwing weapon, like a knife or something like that. Am I allowed in here? This is... yeah, okay. They seem to be fine. Ah, but I'm not allowed that way. Oh, flip. Because I'm a member of the general public, there's a lot of restrictions on where I'm allowed to go. Ah, screwdriver. Grab it, put it away. Okay. Okay, nice and quick. Yeah, let's just eliminate this guy with the screwdriver. Right. You, auction staff. Okay, auction staff is a good thing. Let's all oh, flip. This possibly isn't a good place for him to be. There are clearly... um. There are clearly issues here. Right, okay. Auction staff and I've still got a screwdriver. So even going down is the right way to take care of this, potentially. Now, as the waiter, I can get back into the security centre. And with the security centre... Either of you gonna, you're all going to recognise me if I show up there. Can I just get in, get the explosive and get out again? Right, get it. Hide it. Get out. And then found trespassing, but I just immediately left. So it's absolutely fine. Yep, they're searching for me, but it's not a problem. Okay, fine. So my main question now is, what's the best way to kill her? Can I throw an explosive at her? I'm convinced this remote explosive plan can be made to work. I'm certain of it. Let's just toss the bomb over the top of this as soon as she arrives. Okay, go. Detonate, 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 detonate. Damn it, that woman is bomb-proof. You just kill everyone but her every time. But try it again, try it again. Right, throw in bomb. Detonate, 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 detonate. How did that not kill her? That was right on top of her. How did that possibly not kill her? My god, she's... I think she might actually be bomb-proof. That explosion was right on top of her. And everyone around her apart from her died. Maybe she's just got more health or something. So, one more thing I did want to test out. She's just restarting down here. Now, if I go to this door over here, I believe I overhear a very important and interesting conversation down this way. And that is... Uh, what the hell is a bare-knuckle boxer? What? The sanguine boss, Novikov. He asked if I could make him one. 
Oh, that. Yeah, shit. I forgot. It's a cocktail, his favorite, apparently. The palace owner, Mr. Laren, left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I was gonna copy so there we are. It's the opportunity to kill this guy. Now, fortunately, I know where some of this is now, and I do want to do this, because this sounds like a really fun way of killing him. So, let's go here. In the kitchen, you've got the thing. I saw that earlier. Find a box of rat poison. Well, I know where some of that is. There might well be some in the kitchen, to be honest, but I know where I can get some uh, upstairs. I just need to go up to the the up, the main upward staircase here. I think it is around here. Oh, there might be something in here. Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, the master key. Oh, that's even flipping better. I didn't even know that was there. Excellent. So there's now just, there's just a, uh, a master key right there. Nice. Yeah, there might be some. Oh, that might be it. Hello. What's that? That is. Oh. That's just an explosive. Oh, that's, this is the pantry drop-off. Sorry, I completely missed that. I was actually in the pantry right now. Beautiful. So, just head out to the kitchen and then head upstairs. And that will bring us up to the first floor. Very, very close by to the kitchen. So, obviously, we know where we get rat poison. We get rat poison in the kitchen. So, head around the backstage area. Waiters are allowed in here. Go into the kitchen. No one's suspicious of me. Grab some rat poison. In fact, I can find two boxes of rat poison. Beautiful. And then I just need to tend to the bar. That I can do again. No one in here is in any way suspicious of me. So I've got some rat poison. I can just be here and... Wait, is there somewhere in particular? Yeah, tend to the bar. Ah, this is the exact spot. Time to mix up a storm. Yeah, this is the exact point where he is going to uh, show up. And I've got all the ingredients in front of me. Wait for that guy to turn his back in case rat poison is frowned upon. So I'm going to mix up a bare knuckle boxer together with presumably a little nice rat poison surprise. So mix up one of them, pour it here, add some rat poison. I okay, so now it exists, I can add rat poison to it. Oh, perfect. Can I get away with that with no one being suspicious because I'm a bartender? So me adding stuff into drinks is like considered normal because yeah, it would be considered suspicious for a guard, but for a bartender... Making a drink, most normal thing in the world. So now I simply wait for our chap to show up here. Perfect. And that is a drink that will make him sick. But if I'd done the um, yeah the mechanism upstairs with her, with, um, with Helmet, then that would have got me the cyanide I could have added instead. And then that would be instant death rather than just making him sick. Because this way he's going to go to the bathroom and I can drown him that way. Which is fine because I think that's another achievement. But if you do the helmet uh, Kruger into the bare knuckle boxer, you can actually do the other achievement, which is poisoning him actually to death. That oh, this is really cool. Have this game has so much to it, it's great. And would you believe I've mixed you up a bare knuckle boxer, sir? There he goes. Nice. It's, uh, it's an odd sensation in my... In my midsection. I feel like kind of woozy. And off he decides to go, presumably into the bathroom this way. He's followed by a security guard, but as usual, his security guard, if he goes into the toilet, will not follow him. But hopefully won't mind if I decide I am going to. So he now goes to this bathroom here. His, oh no! His security guard's actually going to, oh no, not going to follow him. Perfect. Okay, do you mind if I go in? And just let the door close and drown the man. Perfect mundo. There he goes, drowned in his own alcoholic vomit. Perfect. Dump him in the cupboard, which is very, very convenient. That is apparently an act. That can't be an accident. He's in the bloody cupboard. It would only be an accident if I left him. Bloody hell. All right, fine. And then one other person, Dahlia. Now, what a fun, unusual thing that I haven't done yet with her could I do? As we've been bothered by it so many times, how about this bloody opportunity about the private laptop? So, need to interrupt the laptop. The laptop is right flipping here, together with a whole bunch of stuff, actually. A nice letter opener. What else was that? Was that, uh... I swear I saw something else there. Uh, okay, and then a the laptop itself. I need to find the laptop dongle. I'm pretty sure I saw from one of the achievement pictures where that was. All I need to do is head to the... This area over here into the attic -y bit. Because this here is close by to there, the security center. Aha! There it is, right there. So sabotage the laptop after everything begins. Fine, let's just get out of here because we're not supposed to be in here. And then nice and quick out again. Lovely. 
So, we need to wait until the auction begins, which we can verify nice and easily. So and the auction, the auction has science. indeed already begun. And that means we can now sabotage this thing. It is this room over here, isn't it? Yes, excuse me, please. And then, ah, okay, so. Sabotage this, and then step outside and hide for a second. So, insert the dongle. Screw it all up. The, uh, the challenge in question says to kill her with a neck break. There's some sort of like, you know, broken network, broken neck pun going on here. Are you going to object to me being here? No, you're fine. Haley, you hat stand. What's your excuse this time? Okay, what do we do about this guy who's blatantly standing nearby watching this all happen? Well... There. Back in business. Sorry, but the challenge says, the challenge says, the challenge says, snap her neck. Lovely. Now we should probably leave in a hurry. Yes, actually, we should probably get out of here. Yep, permanent break indeed, but uh, I get the feeling this is all going to go a bit wrong. So, hopefully, we've got like, you know, a moment before all the guards gather and start hunting me down and shooting me. I'm in combat, which generally means I am actually going to be, you know, shot a lot. But this is all fine. This is all going to be fine. Yeah, hang this way. Go, 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 go. Uh, no, we're into hunted, not combat. Oh, that's perfect. Hunted, not combat means they, they've lost me. Good. This is... <laughs> That was not subtle, but I'm not really sure. Given that, I guess I'd have to take uh, that guy ahead of time, which is harsh. But now the guys who are hunting me, are they all still staying upstairs? Yeah, they don't know that I'm supposed to be on the uh, the floor below that. Perfect. All right, this. Now this works. Now anyone here actually going to recognise me or all of you? Yes, they're all stuck upstairs. They don't know. This is perfect. Now I believe you are staircase down. Perfect. Let's just head to the basement exit because the further and further down we go, the better, quite frankly. I'm being hunted, so this is not going to be a very impressive score, but never mind. I was still able to do one of the challenges, and I was quite pleased with killing him. That's quite good. Excuse me, don't mind me. Security guard, definitely supposed to be here, all as it should be. Bye. So, mission accomplished. What? Are, I think we've picked up a few things. Oh, darn, I think I pushed the wrong button there and thus skipped... Uh, Let's skip to what my achievements were, but never mind. I definitely got a few there. You saw them pop up on screen. So, 48,000 points, one out of... I still haven't got anything over two out of five. This game's quite harsh in its scoring system. Well, I got one new unlock there. I got the toilet cistern. Uh, so that is... Yeah, that's a small unlock. Ooh. And I got a new thing. I got a sedative poison vial. Okay. So I'm unlocking more and more new toys. And I've also unlocked starting actually in the palace garden, but I get to choose my disguise. Okay, very, very cool. And here we are in the gardens. Beautiful. And challenge completed. Party crash. Apparently I just get a small achievement just for flipping actually starting in all the different locations. Now, what is this then? Sedative poison vial. So that is a, a little kind of bottle of something. Does that mean that's something I can actually add to a glass? So I can add a sedative to any glass that I wanted to. Is that true? Uh, where's there a glass that I can test? I swear there's a glass you can put stuff in somewhere around here. Okay, I see. So I've unlocked a brand new poison there. So now I can put a sedative into any of these drinks that I want. So I can just, yeah, sedate people, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure kind of what necessarily the advantage of doing that over poisoning them would be, but it's a nice opportunity. Ah, and I understand now. So, the new area that I've just unlocked as the drop point for the agency is on the third floor. So I could actually drop a pistol off in the third floor and pick it up from a toilet cistern. Okay, and that is... Oh, that's still not the most accessible thing in the world, actually, because I'm pretty sure that there is the private bathroom that you're only allowed into if you're staff. Oh, unless you climbed in, of course. Uh, because there's a window right there. Okay, so I think I see how that would work. So yeah, you can pick that up up on the third floor. Okay, that's pretty cool. Just want to quickly try out the new silver baller as well. Oh, it's quite fast firing. Doesn't feel that powerful. Feels like a one-hit kill if it gets the headshot. Is it a one-hit kill against the... Oh, it's a one-hit kill against bodies for normal people. That's nice. Feel like I might have slightly run out of ammo for it quite quickly, though. This game is not really set up for you to do large amounts of killing, but you can still leave quite an impressive trail of corpses anyway. All right, lovely. Yes, 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 I know you're annoyed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's enough of the Paris mission for now. I've shown off quite a lot of fun that you can have there, but I don't want to show off everything. I want to leave enough stuff for you all to discover too. I think I've like, I've not even got close to all of it yet. 
I think I've got like under half the achievements and well under half the feats and the discoveries and stuff. So there's loads of stuff still to dig out of that level. Plus, there's still lots of story I haven't figured out yet. Like, I'm particularly interested with uh, the Mr. Decker. I haven't investigated at all. There's the fact that, well, the implication that Novikov might have hired an assassin of his own. Maybe that is Mr. Decker. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he was strongly implying that he'd spent a lot of money to deal with the past once and for all in some capacity. And I haven't really figured out what that means yet. Oh, there's just a lot here. I quite like how they've done it, these massive levels where there's a lot of replayability. But I think I've shown enough of the Paris, I will probably not show any more of that. Instead, coming up next in Hitman, I want to show off some new stuff indeed. I want to show off the Escalation mode and the new Contracts mode. Obviously, both of those seem very, very cool indeed. So, I want to show those off. So, that's coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather good Hitman. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've got plans. Dad, this, this is my plan. International peacekeeping force. I'm here to bring peace. Enemy. It's a tsunami of monkeys. This is literally a tidal wave of monkeys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be here. Don't be standing here. Okay. Oh, you want more peace? Here, have some more. Have some more.